Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So you guys know I love my SSDs and you guys know I love the Samsung SSDs more than pretty much any other SSD. So this is the T1 and this is the T3 and I believe there's a T5 that's coming into works which I'll definitely buy the second it's out because I love the SSDs. So this is where I like literally store everything because it's super fast, so small, tiny. Look at it. It's like this is a pip. This is seriously a Pokemon card, right? This is a Pokemon card. Look how small this is. So you guys know just how small. Look at it. And this is 500 gigs actually. Someone's like to me, you gotta check out the WD SSD because they apparently was in Digital Make SSD now. So someone's like to me, you gotta check them out. And I was like, bruh, this is not gonna be as good as Samsung ones. So here it is guys. I thought let's just check it out. This is only 256 gig. As you can tell, I didn't really think it was gonna be that great. So I just jumped and went for 256 gig anyway. But let's just break into it and see what it actually is. Okay, so inside you get lots of paperwork which we don't care about here because we don't do paperwork. You get the SSD itself which is an interesting look. I actually don't know how I feel about the look to be honest with you guys. And you get a C to C cable and also a A to C adapter. So if you don't have C on your laptop, you can just put that in. Okay, so guys, size wise, let's just do some size comparison because that's important. There's one thing I want to say, this is a lot skinnier if that's what you want to call it than the other ones, but I kind of wish Western Digital went with like this look as opposed to this. So like the whole thing was one and just had, this is kind of, I don't know, it just feels like it's like a chocolate bar and I'm supposed to like clip it in half. You know what I mean? So let's put some size compact. Move the cables out of the way. So this is the T1 next door and that's the T3. I'm still going to have to say T1 was probably like the best designed SSD. Like look how small it is compared to like even the T3 and even the WD. But anyway, we're not going to talk about these, so let's move this stuff out of the way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a speed test, and for the sake of keeping everything fair, what I'm actually going to do is use the exact same cable. Okay guys, looking at sequential read and writes, you're looking at the faster read time on the WD SSD, which was interesting. I was honestly not expecting that. It is about 20 megabytes faster. However, writing speed, which is sort of important when it comes to you know, making pretty much stuff I do, you're looking at 363 megabytes a second on the Samsung SSD and 209 megabytes a second on the WD. Yeah, I still haven't been able to be changed from portable SSDs from the T3. If someone is going to recommend something that's going to be better, should comment down below and I'll check it out. I highly doubt it because I, I think I'm like, like, I really like these T3 SSDs. I cannot wait till the T5 comes out. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. If you enjoyed this, smash that thumbs up button down below, share the video around, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.